Ever wondered if there could be another you in another universe making different choices? Welcome to the fascinating realm of quantum mechanics, where the rules of our known reality seem to bend and warp, giving rise to theories that sound straight out of a science fiction novel. One such theory is the many worlds interpretation. The many worlds interpretation, or MWI, presents a mind-boggling proposition. It suggests that for every possible outcome of a quantum event, there exists a separate, parallel universe. Imagine flipping a coin. In our world, the coin lands on heads. But according to MWI, there's another universe where the coin landed on tails. This theory takes the concept of what if to an entirely new level, proposing an infinite number of parallel realities, each representing a different possible outcome. But how does MWI handle the puzzling concept of superposition, the idea that a quantum particle can exist in multiple states at once? This is where Schrodinger's cat, the famous thought experiment comes into play. Picture a cat, a flask of poison, and a radioactive source all sealed inside a box. According to quantum theory, the cat is both alive and dead until we open the box. But MWI offers a different perspective. It proposes that when the box is opened, the universe splits into two. In one universe, the cat is alive. In the other, it's dead. This interpretation of superposition suggests that every quantum event triggers the creation of new universes. It's a daring theory, one that challenges our understanding of reality and our place within it. So, at the heart of the many worlds interpretation, lies the idea that every decision you make may be creating an alternate universe, a universe where you took that job or didn't, where you said yes or no, a universe where every possibility is a reality. And if that doesn't make you ponder the infinite possibilities of existence, what will? But how do we reconcile the quantum world with our everyday reality? This question leads us to the fascinating concept of quantum decoherence. Think of quantum systems as a tranquil pond. Each quantum particle is like a wave on this pond. When isolated, these waves move independently, following the peculiar laws of quantum mechanics. But what happens when these waves interact with their environment, much like ripples colliding on a pond? This is where quantum decoherence comes into play. Quantum decoherence is the process where the unique quantum properties of a system leak out into the environment. This leakage causes the quantum system to lose its pristine quantum behavior and instead behave more like the familiar, classical systems we encounter in our daily lives. It's like the waves on our pond becoming turbulent and chaotic when a stone is thrown in, losing their distinct patterns. You see, quantum systems prefer to dance solo. They are like a ballerina, twirling in perfect rhythm, their spins and leaps dictated by the laws of quantum mechanics. But when they are forced to dance in a crowd, their perfect pirouettes become muddled. They lose their quantum coherence, their ability to maintain their distinct quantum states. Imagine our ballerina, once spinning in her own unique way, now having to move in sync with the crowd. She becomes indistinguishable from the other dancers. Her unique quantum behavior has decohered, and she now exhibits classical behavior. But why does this matter? Quantum decoherence is crucial because it bridges the gap between the quantum and classical worlds. It helps us understand why we don't see quantum weirdness, like superposition and entanglement, in our everyday lives. It explains why Schrodinger's infamous cat can't be both dead and alive when we open the box. Quantum decoherence, then, provides the link that connects our tangible, classical world with the enigmatic realm of quantum mechanics. It's the bridge that takes us from the world of the very small to the realm of the comfortably familiar. And it's this bridge that allows us to make sense of the quantum world and its place in our everyday reality. But what does it truly mean for a universe to branch? Picture a tree. A single seed sprouts into a robust trunk, which then branches off into multiple paths. Each branch is unique, having grown in its own direction, faced its own wind and weather, and forged its own path. Now, imagine this tree as our universe. The trunk represents the birth of our universe, the Big Bang. As time goes on, the tree grows more complex, sprouting branches. These branches symbolize the different possible outcomes of each quantum event. To grasp this, consider Schrodinger's cat. In this thought experiment, a cat in a box could be either alive or dead based on the outcome of a quantum event. Each possible outcome, alive or dead, represents a different branch of the universe. 
If we peek into the box, we collapse the quantum state into one outcome, and our universe continues down that branch. But according to the many worlds interpretation, each outcome actually happens. It just happens in a different universe. The moment we open the box, the universe branches. In one universe, the cat is alive. In another, it's dead. Quantum events aren't just about cats in boxes, though. Every quantum event from the flicker of a star to the spin of an electron could potentially create a new branch, a new universe. So each quantum event might be the seed from which a new universe grows, branching off into its own unique path. But can we ever hope to confirm the existence of these many worlds? This question has been the driving force behind a multitude of scientific investigations. Experimentally testing the many worlds interpretation is a challenging endeavor, primarily due to the inherent difficulty of observing alternate realities. Yet scientists are nothing if not determined. Proposed experiments often involve intricate manipulations of quantum states, pushing our technological capabilities to their limits. One such experiment involves creating a superposition of two macroscopically distinct states, a feat that requires a level of precision and control that is currently beyond our reach, but not out of the realm of possibility. Another potential experiment involves the detection of quantum interference effects. If successful, this could provide indirect evidence of parallel universes. However, the challenge lies in differentiating these effects from other quantum phenomena. In the face of these challenges, it's imperative to remember that science is a journey of discovery. Each experiment, each question brings us a step closer to understanding the nature of our universe. The many worlds interpretation may remain unproven, but the journey of exploration it has sparked is invaluable. The theory has opened up a plethora of scientific questions and has broadened our perspective of reality. It has pushed scientists to devise new experiments and to develop more advanced technology. Though the many worlds interpretation remains unproven, its intriguing implications continue to inspire scientists and laymen alike, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe.